Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This liturgy is being offered for uh, Darwin Meadows in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. <coughs> <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. <coughs> And let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who made uh, St. Margaret of Scotland a wonderful in her out outstanding charity towards the poor, and we also, um, today we pray for uh, St. Gertrude, um, grant that <clears throat> through, her in through their intercession and example, we may reflect among all humanity the image of your divine goodness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, This is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly and tying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, closing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wounds shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of, Lord sh of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call the Lord Call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help and he will hear. I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then the light shall rise for you in darkness and the gloom shall become for you in midday. Then the Lord will guide you always and give you plenty even on parched land. He will renew your strength, and you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring whose water never fails. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. The responsorial psalm, Bless the man who fears the Lord. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Bless the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty among, upon the earth, and upright generations shall be blessed. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Bless, Bless the, man. the man who fears the Lord. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast. He shall not till he looks upon his foes. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generous, generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus said to his disciples, 
As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I call you friends, because I have told you everything that I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the feast day of two saints, as uh, Saint Margaret of Scotland and, and uh, Saint Gertrude, um, great women of their time who uh, uh, lived these commandments, uh, and they were uh, uh, they assisted the widow and the poor, uh, children those who were so very vulnerable, they, they were their voice. And that, that is absolutely important. Uh, and that's why this gospel passage is here. And if you can't remember any of the commandments, John gives us the commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. And you can test yourself on how you are loving by being conscious of brother and sister and doing something about it. Then you know that you're in Jesus's and the Father's favor. And it is imperative that we always look out for the vulnerable, the marginalized, the outcast, to be their voice, to give them dignity, to raise them up, to love them as you would love yourself, as you, as we all say that we love Jesus. We must prove it to ourselves through our brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters, let us ask Heavenly Father to hear our prayers of need, not just for ourselves, but for all our brothers and sisters. That the Christian churches may shine as lamps of good and loving works, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the apostles and teachers may remain true to what has been revealed in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That students of Scripture may read with hearts open to God's message for today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who love each other has been lost may never be discovered what joined them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find the help they need to endure through weariness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be gathered among the blessed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And today on our prayer list, we pray for Connie Dodge, Brandon Sakel, Owen Rice, Margaret Stevenson, Donna Fannin, Robert McNulty, Ann Hopkins, Patty Lewitt, T.A. Maurer, Terry Flora, Jack Housel, Avery Scott Smith, and those mentioned in our prayer list in our Book of Intentions, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the cause of Jean-Claude Collant, founder of the Maris for Sainthood, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for an increase in vocations to religious life and priesthood, especially in the Society of Mary, a USA province and a Maris family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions that remain in our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We ask you to grant them in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Uh, just to let you know, yesterday was uh, uh, Father Coleman's anniversary of death. He, 145 years ago, uh, he was called uh, to our Lord. Uh, and uh, I ask you to, again to pray for Father Coleman's uh, Canonization. Thank you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, and will come for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By this mystery, water and wine, may we share in your divinity, assemble yourself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, and work of human hands, and will come for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The humble spirit of compassion may be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand, for the grace of the Lord will me. For our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim uh, your wonders, O oh Lord, uh, in uh, the Virgin uh, bl <coughs> Blessed uh, Margaret and Gertrude, we humbly implore your, ma your majesty that as that as their merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of, of your providence by which you call the human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to the experience on this earth the, the gifts you... <clears throat> the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with, the, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness, Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus the Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In 
in a similar way when supper was ended. He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, pronounced the blessing and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gregory John, our Archbishop, Bernard and Joel, our Auxiliary Bishops, and all the bishops, clergy, and religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the res in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with St. John the Baptist, his herald, with the Apostles, the martyrs St. Peter Chanel, Pope Pius X, St. Margaret and St. Gertrude, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, May we marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, disciples, friends, you say to each and every one of us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be upon you all. And let us offer to each other some sign of Christ's saving and loving peace. Lamb of God, you take any witness of the world and have mercy on us. Keep me always faithful, commandments that none of them be parted from me. And behold, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the examples of blessed Margaret and Gertrude, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a loving day.